nightmare. Just dreamt to have been buried alive. Yeah, well, you woke me up. I'm sorry. This always happens. What? Kids. First night inside. Even they can't sleep, all they have bad dreams. Yeah, I'm all right. No, you're not. You're scared stiff, aren't you? You should be. You alright? I couldn't sleep. Terrible dream. It's gonna be alright, you know. It'll be out before you know it. I shouldn't have done it. I could look after myself. It's typical of the way looking out for me and messing it up. Oh, come on, that's not fair, is it? This is the first night we've been apart since we got married. I woke up after I had that dream and I rolled over thinking you'd be there and... Oh, love. How are you? <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. I never would have thought it of Roy stealing that woman's jewellery. It's just not like him, is it? Well, maybe you... Maybe wanted to sell it and put money towards the house. He did it because he loves Kelly. Well, that's all very well, but the fact of the matter is I can hardly bring myself to open up the shop. People round here love an excuse to gossip and point the finger. Come on, just go away a minute. I was being sympathetic. Just go? I sort out the papers. No one thinks badly of Roy Kel. No, she's right. Everyone knows he's a good bloke. I'm getting a bit sick of you trying to make me feel better. I'm only trying to help. If it weren't for you, none of this ever would have happened. It's your fault. And I wish I was in there instead of him. So do I. He's hardly ever left the village. How's he going to cope with prison? Then. What's going on? What am I meant to do? You really are useless, aren't you? Maybe you could uh, chill it rocks. What are you going to do for me? I don't know. Well, what am I? Your mum? No one does something for nothing, innit? Eh? No. I'm just saying, if you can tell me what. You don't get it, do you? What? You're on your own. No one's going to lift a finger for you because no one cares about you. Get used to it. Two hundred thousand pounds. I've never seen that much money. I'd pay the same again to see him caught and put away for the rest of his life. I'm sure. I'll bring the death penalty back for him. Are you going to wait here until it's time? Something I have to do at the Hornage Yard. Oh, come on, Zoe. You can't be working today. No, it doesn't work. Well, what is it, then? I've got this idea in my head. It, it may turn out to be a complete fantasy, but I've got this idea that Liam might have something to do with kidnapping Chris. <laughs> we are talking about Liam, who saved Joseph's life, who you went out to dinner with. I know how it sounds. In these last few weeks, I think that sometimes I might be going crazy, but I seriously think he might be the one. But you're not going to tell him this. No, of course not. I'm going to change his hour, so if it is him, he won't be able to make the pick-up, then I'll know. Oh, that's creepy. Someone you know might have done this. <sighs> He's been close to you, talking to you. Oh, doesn't that make you feel somehow dirty? It makes my skin crawl. I'll try and get you another razor, and I'll get you some fresh clothes. Then I'm off. Fresh clothes? <laughs> yeah, well... Uh... The smell was starting to get me. I'll tell them you treated me well. Won't be true, will it? Lately, it's been true. When you get back to your life, get your head together. You'll hate me. No, I won't. I'll think about how we got to know each other. Then I'll remember things like this and how you tried to make it easier. Least I could do. I almost wish. What? I just knocked on your door and said, hello, my name's Liam. Frank Tate was my father. Have you decided what you'll do yet? I'm hardly going to tell you, am I? No, I know. No. But don't blow the money, Liam. 
This is a chance for you. Fresh start. You ready? Yeah, of course. Lie low. Don't, don't spend any money for a while. Take your time. I don't know that lying low is going to do me much good. Police will have my description. <laughs> no, they won't. I tell them you wore a mask. You were five foot six and had black hair. I don't believe you. Makes no difference what you believe. <laughs> now go away, will you? The water's getting cold. You'd lie to the police. <sighs> You're our brother, Liam. We owe you not just money, we owe you a second chance. Sean, I've been waiting for you. What can I do for you? Pete's over hours. He's not, is he? He's right on the limit. You could give him a break, have Liam do his run to Leeds this afternoon. Zoe, you know I like it when you take an interest. Yeah, I've noticed. It's Liam's afternoon off and Pete's hours are fine, so we'll leave it as it is. No, you won't. I want it changed, Sean. If you're going to insist, sure. It's no big deal. I can give way on the small things. Thank you. And I'd rather Liam didn't know that it was my fault that he's got to work this afternoon. OK. I just hope you're not spoiling his plans. So do I. Uh, three pints, please, love. Pints? She must be suffering. Mm. It's the way of the law, ain't it? It's all this poor that suffer. Just look at him. There ain't an ounce of human sympathy in that man. <laughs> what? Just ignore him. <laughs> Should I get Kelly a drink? Oh, not while she's with Vivi. They must have a lot to talk about. So what did you mean? What, love? This morning, when you said it's not like Roy to steal that woman's stuff, what did you mean? Didn't mean anything. It's not like Roy, but it's like me. Is that what you're thinking? Are you saying I put him up to it? Of course not. Cos if you're looking for someone to blame, I'd start with yourself, not me. How's it my fault that Roy stole from that woman? Well, you gave Scott my money. Oh, look, I know you're upset, love, but I don't think it's very fair to blame me. Well, it's not fair that Roy's in jail, either. People are staring. Well, let's give him something to stare at. Can everyone hear? It's her fault my husband's in prison. He wouldn't be there if it weren't for her. Right, <clears throat> I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Hang on. What? The schedule's been changed. And you're going to Leeds. When? Half an hour. That's Pete's job. It was Pete's, now it's yours. <sighs> I can't do it, Sean. I've got plans, mate. Well, you've got new plans. You're working. Why didn't you tell me this yesterday? Look, what is this? A date? Eh? Hey? Is that what you're getting upset about? Yeah, yeah, it's a date, yeah. <laughs> Who is she? No one you know. Oh, must be someone special. <sighs> Leave it, Sean. Uh, can I Thursday afternoon off? Probably. I'll confirm it with you when you get back from Leeds. Great. Hey, tell her it's my fault. Tell her you'll make it up to her. And if she doesn't forgive you, tell her I'll make it up to her. <laughs> Mind if I join you? If you like. Uh, I saw you sitting here on your own before, sneering at Kelly. You wouldn't deny me a simple pleasure like that, would you? Just, uh, lately you've... you've reminded me of how you were last year. That night in the wine bar? Ancient history. You think? Why are you bringing this up? I don't have time to dwell on the past. You never think about it, then? Nope. You were going to kill yourself, and you never think about it. I think about it often. Do you have a point? I just, as I say, I saw you sit... God, why, why do you turn people against you, Eric? Why do you do that? Wouldn't it be easier to actually, actually have people like you? <laughs> Wanting to be liked is a weakness. <sighs> why should I change? <laughs> If who I am doesn't suit people's cosy perception of human decency, <laughs> too bad. 
You're a, you're a sour man who sits on his own in corners, laughing at other people's unhappiness. <laughs> Is that what you want people to accept? Because I'm telling you now, Eric, it ain't gonna happen. Well, what would you have me do? <laughs> Give my money to charity, love my neighbour, wear a hair shirt. <laughs> would that please you? Yeah. I just thought it needed saying. I'm here. The plan's off. Why? Never mind why. I'll call Thursday with instructions. Wait. Is Chris all right? He's fine. Then why the change of plan? Thursday. to dispense words of comfort, have you, Ashley? Now, who do you want to start with first, Viv or Cathy? Actually, I just came in for a cup of tea. Oh, you've got no time for a cup of tea, Ashley. Cathy needs you. She's claiming that she doesn't want to talk about Alice leaving. Here's a radical thought, Betty. If she says she doesn't want to talk about it, perhaps she really doesn't want to talk about it. No. I said to Sarah, I said, Kathy is like a swollen river that needs undamming. Pardon? Put it simply, Ashley, it's your duty to speak to her. I think I'll decide what my duty is. Oh, hello, Kathy. It's Ashley. Hello, here. Ashley. Well, I'll leave you to it. Leave you to what? If you happen to feel the need of any sort of assistance, Cathy, I'd like you to know that I'm always available. Ashley, I don't feel the need. Of course. Fine. No pressure. But uh, if you did want someone to talk to... I'd rather people just let me handle this my own way. Of course. She said quite clearly that she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, don't you recognise a cry for help when you hear it? A man of your calling. Oh, yeah? Liam, you made me jump. I thought you were still out on your run. No, it's just a quick job. Leave me time for a pint. Do you fancy a drink? Not tonight. Go on, it'll do you good. Do me good? What do you mean? Well, nothing. I just meant it might cheer you up a bit. You do understand, don't you, Liam? I keep functioning. You put a smile on my face sometimes, but I'm so worried sick about Chris. Yeah, of course. I lie awake at night, wondering where he is, how he's feeling. Wondering about the person who's got him. What sort of callous monster could do this? Look, look, I'm sorry. I only ask because I'm off on an overnight tomorrow. It was insensitive. Liam, insensitive? Surely not. You can have Thursday off, by the way. We've checked it. Oh, cheers. I've got to go. What's up with her? Maybe she had a bad day. that sexy wife of yours. Is it, Matt? What are you telling her about your cellmate? Could I tell her what a nice guy I am? Just give me the card back. Make me. Why do you keep pushing me? Something to do. Let's push the new boy and see what happens. Yeah, come on. Why should I? You're not worth it. Thought so. Right, it's just not up to prison. That's what worries me. Hello, Kelly, love. Come and join us. Boy, said he could be, ain't he? Well, it's hard to get to the following prison. I mean, the queues are terrible. 
And he'll need time to get himself settled in, won't he? Oh, it'll take a while to get his bearings, definitely. I'm sure he'll be fine, Kelly. Sorry, I ain't been at work today. At least it's a good excuse this time. Uh, just take as long as you need, don't worry about it. Will Roy's job still be there when he gets out? Oh, I've already told him, love, there's no problem there. Don't you worry about it. It's a miscarriage of justice, Kelly. Soft lad like Roy. Shouldn't be in prison. Prison's for real hard nuts. Yeah. Who'd have Roy for breakfast? Except, obviously, they won't, I mean. Roy's a nice lad. He'll be fine. I was going to have a drink with Kelly, but looks as though they're taking care of her. Yeah, I'm leaving him to it. It's awful about Roy. He doesn't deserve it. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, thanks. Half a lager. She was wearing those jewels to the wedding, wasn't she? So? So she's wearing them when Roy gets arrested. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to know you're prepared to have a drink with me these days. Yeah, well, it's good to eat out with me and Marlon. Don't mean I trust you, though. No, fair enough. How's she coping? Well, yesterday she couldn't believe what had happened. Today she's not facing up to it, blaming everyone. It's in a bad way. Not really sure what to do about it. I'm here! Down here! some magazines and stuff. I was just going to make us something to me. What do you mean? It didn't work out. I changed my shift at work. I had to call Zoe and switch the drop to Thursday. <laughs> What's going on, Liam? The clothes. The water to, to wash in. What, are you playing with me? Building up my hopes so you can knock them down again? Chris, we're past all that, you and me. I want you out of here and home again. I let myself start thinking about it. Seeing Zoe and Joseph. Seeing daylight! It's gonna happen soon. I... <laughs> I can't take any more of this. <laughs> I don't know if you're, you're laughing at me or, or, or telling the truth. Look, you'll be out of here Thursday, I swear it. Trust me. Just go, go! I thought, since we had some more time... Just go! open. I thought I'd have another go at sorting out Alice's things. I used to read this to her. It was a favourite. These days she's more interested in stories about teenage romance. I always wonder what sort of teenager Alice would make. Whether she'd stay out half the night meeting unsuitable boys and generally making my life hell. Oh well. I guess I'll never find out. Do you think this is the best thing? You being on your own like this? Don't be like the others, Graham. What do you mean? You and I. Our relationship's a bit different, isn't it? A bit special? <laughs> I hope so. Betty, Sarah, Ashley, they're trying to make me react the way they think I should. They're trying to make me talk about how I feel, how I'm going to cope. I don't want to do that, Graham. I can't bear to. I understand. Because I did the right thing in giving Alice up. I did what was best for her. But if I have to keep going over it, analysing it, I'm just going to start wishing I kept her. You followed your head and not your heart. That's a very difficult thing to do, and a very admirable thing. Yeah, well, now I have to learn to live with that. Graham, I do want to be on my own. As long as you promise that when you do need someone, 
some company. You'll come to me. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Okay, I'll go. Yeah. Graham, thanks for understanding. We'll be fine. I don't know if he'll ever forgive me. Oh, of course he will. You shouldn't. You should hate me. You were right. He didn't want you to borrow that jewellery. And it's not really your fault, Scott, or Viv's, or anyone else's. It's mine. You can't think like that. Zach says he's not tough enough for prison. I've done this to him. No, you haven't. He made the choice to cover up for you. And now he ain't called. I don't know whether he's angry with me or something's happened to him. Ned said it would happen, and it has. I've ruined Roy's life. Oh, Kelly. You've been great for Roy. And yet it's a setback. But he'll get through this. Hey? Believe me, he loves you. Just as much as he always has. No, he's fine. He's probably made a few friends in there already. So, tell a little more about wifey. What's she like? Get lost. Mm, get lost? You're an hard man, aren't you, Glover? Not to say to. I don't think you understand. Me and my mates own this wing. You obviously need to be a bit more careful who you offend. It's him, Claudia. <laughs> it's Liam. Where have you been, Zoe? I've been worried. Oh, I was so angry. I was so wound up. I just drove out past Lee's and onto the motorway. I didn't know where I was going. I... I just needed some time to think. I needed to let off steam. How do you know it's Liam? Because he called off today's drop and set it for Thursday. And then I found out that he's taking Thursday off. It's him. I know it. And you've told the police? I looked straight at him. And I said, what sort of person would do this? Claudia, he couldn't look me in the eyes. I nearly went for him right there. I nearly screamed in his face. I nearly hit him. OK, Zoe, calm down. Have you told the police? <sighs> oh, I'm calm. I'm calm. Have you told them? I can't. We well, have to. I have no proof. And what if I'm wrong? You have to tell them, Zoe. You just said you know it's him. I do. I know it is him, but... If it isn't... If it isn't... and the police are involved again... the real kidnappers will kill Chris. And I can't risk that. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna deal with Liam myself.